my lords and ladies, it's me, Agatha. You are well on your way to becoming the most powerful ruler in all the kingdom. But to really immerse yourself in our world, you must go one step farther. Today's quest is to build the most epic cosplay ever. You'll dress as me, of course. Now, gather all your resources and good luck. Hey guys, what's up? Trisha Hirschberger here, and today I'm going to show you how I built my Agatha cosplay from the mobile game Clash of Kings on iOS and Android. She's the central female character from the game, and she's the one who tells you everything you need to know when it comes to building a strong kingdom and annihilating your enemies. I like a girl who knows her strategy. You can see Agatha's basic look. She's got long blonde hair parted to the side, a long white dress with gold trim, a golden tiara and earrings, white gloves with the same gold trim, and she's carrying a pen with a large white feather and a very big scroll. My plan is to focus on the dress first, then the accessories, props, and use hair and makeup to complete the look. You'll notice the dress has some interesting physics going on in the chest region, as well as floating trim that comes off the sleeves. And it's important to do your research before spending any money on materials. So first, I consulted with my friend Liana, host of Agents of Cosplay. All right, so I'm stuck. The material has to be a delicate satin, but I don't want it to be sheer and I want it to be strong enough to be able to give me the support up top that I need. What do I go with? Well, you're in luck. There are lots of different kinds of satin. Avoid silk, go for polyester, and you want a crepe back satin. That and a built-in bra will give you the support you need. And then as far as the trim on the dress, um, I have no idea where to go with that. I was thinking some kind of like wired cord, but everything I can find is way too thin and won't show up. What do you suggest? You can do Wonderflex, you can use corset boning, you can use different types of cord, you can use different types of fabric. Braid, twist, and warp to your heart's content. Okay, then I think I'm gonna go with some kind of like twisted or braided cord and maybe just put wire into it myself. Yeah, that sounds like it'll work. If you're happy with it, it's the right way. Wish me luck. Good luck. Time to start gathering all my resources. I mean, shopping. I chose two types of gold wire, one that's a bit thinner for the earrings and a thicker version for the tiara so it shows up better. I grabbed blue crystal beads for the tiara and earrings, a large white feather for the pen, and I found watercolor paper that had just the right texture for the scroll. Okay, time to focus on the dress. Boob physics are the most challenging part of any cosplay, in my humble opinion. For Agatha, I decided to build the bra right into the dress. Gotta find the right support for the girls. Sorry, you don't get to see that part. Next, it's measurements. Then time to get sewing. The first step is building the support into the dress, i.e. covering everything with the right fabric. Then to build the rest of the dress. It's time to get sewing, and sewing, and sewing. After making the dress three times, I finally have a base white dress I'm happy with. Now for that tricky trim. I went with twisted cord and used gold thread to hand stitch it directly onto the dress. Time consuming, but worth it. For the gold belt on the dress, I decided to use a gold vinyl which I cut to the correct shape and stuck to the dress using adhesive. Okay, now for those sleeves. More sewing. Same cord, but now I'm twisting craft wire into the cord so that I can shape it to lift off the sleeve like in the photo. And more hand stitching, whew! Next, we turn our attention to accessories. I made the earrings using thin gold craft wire. I bent the wire in on itself until I got the desired shape and added a blue bead to match the picture. I used the thicker floral wire to create the tiara, modeling the design after Agatha's tiara in the game. To create the pen, I used an old recorder I had lying around and sprayed it a metallic gold. Then I used some hot glue to secure the white feather down inside. To create the scroll, I first covered the paper in coffee to get that aged look. Then I pinned the edges so they would curl like in the photo and baked the paper until dry. Now that the major pieces are in place, it's time to finish the look with hair and makeup. Agatha parts her long blonde hair to the side, so I purchased a skin top wig, enabling me to part the wig however I'd like while still looking natural. The skin top also extends to the front hairline, so it's a great alternative to a lace front wig. Because Agatha's features are more angular and mine are round, I'm doing a bit of contouring to my nose and jawline. I'm also using foundation to lighten my brows. After that, I'll add a bit of blush and bronzer to the tip of my nose and my ears to match her appearance in game. And I'll finish off with some long lashes and peach lips. Now that the look is complete, I can have fun embodying the character and snapping some photos. Yay, cosplay! Guys, I hope this video encourages you to get out there and create. Cosplay can be a lot of work, but it's really rewarding when you get to bring your favorite characters to life. P.S. If anyone wants to play Clash of Kings with me, I'm in Kingdom 1164. My name is that girl Trish, and our alliance is the Dragon Riders. We're pretty awesome. 
Please like and share this video if you liked and want to share this video, and subscribe to see more tech, gaming, and vlogging good times. My name is Trisha Hirschberger, and united we fight.